Welcome. So we are going to now sketch some circles. So here's the rule that we're going to use to sketch the circle. And this is in the center radius form. So guess what we're going to do first? That's right. We're going to figure out what the center is and we're going to figure out what the radius is. So in this case, my center is going to be negative three, positive one. Remember, you have to swap the signs here. So because this is positive three, it becomes negative three. Because this is negative one, it becomes positive one. Swap those signs. To figure out what the radius is going to be, you square root this value here. So I'm going to take the square root of 16, which is going to be four. So I found my center and I found my radius. Fantastic. Then what I have to do is I have to find my x and y intercepts. So to find my x intercept, what do I do? I let y equal zero. And then I'll figure out what my y intercept is going to be, which will occur when x is equal to zero. Let's begin by talking about the x intercept. So that's going to be x plus three squared plus, now into the y spot, I'm going to put a zero. Minus one squared is equal to 16. Let's zoom in here and do some maths. So we're gonna get x plus three squared plus, now zero minus one is just negative one, squared is equal to 16. We keep on going. See how I'm just rewriting things? This is the uh, nice systematic way of doing your working. Negative one squared, that's just negative one times negative one is gonna be positive one is equal to 16. I'll then minus one to both sides, which means I'm going to end up with 15. Now I need to get rid of this square. To get rid of a square, what do you do? You square root. So that means I'm going to square root both sides to get rid of that square there. That means I'm going to end up with x plus three. That's an ugly looking three because I've gotten rid of this square now. Now remember, when you square root something, you have to take the positive and negative of it. So this is going to be the square root uh, plus or minus the square root of 15. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to minus three to both sides. So it's going to be plus or minus the square root of 15 minus three. Now, because I've got a plus or minus, this is actually two separate values. So this is, x is equal to the square root of 15 minus three. So the positive version of it, and then the negative version of it. So negative, the square root of 15 minus three. So there are two x intercepts. And that makes sense when we come to draw the circle. But it's important that you realize that there are two x intercepts here because you've got a positive and a negative. All right, let's come up here and find what the y intercept is going to be. Same process here. So what we do is we write our rule but swap our x for a zero. So I'm gonna get zero plus three squared plus y minus one squared is equal to 16. You can probably figure out a few steps you can skip here. So for instance, zero plus three squared, well, this is just three squared, that's gonna be nine. Plus y minus one squared is equal to 16. So did you see how I didn't first write three squared is equal to nine? I could just read this and figure it out. So you wanna do that when you can. Then I'm gonna minus nine to both sides. So I'm gonna end up with y minus one squared is equal to 16 minus nine is seven. Then the next thing I do is I square root both sides. So I'm gonna get y minus one is going to be equal to plus or minus the square root of seven. And then lastly, I will plus one to both sides. And again, what we need to realize here is that there are two y intercepts. You've got the positive, the square root of seven plus one, and you've got the negative square root of seven plus one. So two y intercepts, just as there's two x, there are two y's. So just be aware that that is happening there. Okay, now is the trickiest part of all, uh, sketching it. Now we're not after a perfect circle, but it needs to not be too wonky. It needs to be pretty good. All right, so we've got negative three, one. So here would be negative three, here would be one. There it is right there. So there's negative three, there's one, there's the center. Let's put, you wanna label it negative three, one. Okay, the next thing that we have to do here, oh, let's come up here, let's come up there. The next thing that we have to do here is consider the radius. So remember the radius is the distance from the center to the edge of the circle. So that means I can go up, left, down, and right the amount of the radius. So let's do that. I'm gonna go four up, which would take me to five, because one plus four is five. I'm gonna go four this way, which would take me to negative seven. I'm gonna go four this way, which will take me to one, because negative three plus four is one. And then I'm gonna go four down. So one minus four would be negative three. Now, 
you have to, this is the most important part. You have to make sure that these are all relatively the same distance. Otherwise you're gonna get a really ugly circle. So let's try to draw this. Already, that is a disgusting circle. Come on, you can do this. Okay, this is a pretty bad circle. Well, this is a really bad circle. Let's try this. Actually, that's pretty good. No, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, so just make it good. If it looks too oval, or like you need to make some alterations to it. We've labeled the center. We need to label my X and Y intercepts. So we're gonna come here and I'm gonna label this. So this right here is going to be the point because it's my Y intercept, zero, one, plus the square root of seven. Because remember, it's gonna be the more positive one, so the square root of seven. And then my other one down here is going to be, let me get rid of this. This is going to be uh, zero, one minus the square root of seven. So that are, those are these values here. So I've taken the plus one, I'm taking the negative one. Then we come to our X values. So I've got one X value here. So this one's gonna be my more positive one. So it's going to be neg, oh sorry, it's gonna be, yeah that's right, negative three plus the square root of 15, zero. So I've taken the positive 15 and then my other one, let me get rid of this. And let me just make this a bit nicer. That's right. This will be, let me move over, negative three minus the square root of 15, zero. Perfect. And there it is right there. So I've got my Y intercept labeled. I've got my X intercept labeled. I've got my center labeled. So those are the things that you really got to look out for here. You got to make sure that you've got that center labeled and then of course your X and Y intercepts. Make sure that you're using that radius to get a nice uh, spherical and to know which side things are falling on as well. So have you labeled the center? Have you labeled your Y intercepts? Have you labeled your X intercepts? Have you gotten everything correct? That's what you gotta be looking for. These are a bit hairy to, to draw, but that's how you go about it. All right, hopefully you are successful and I'll see you in the next part.